playing video I hid from my parents for 24 hours. I hope they're making something good tonight. What's for dinner? I'm starving. Wait, why are you guys all dressed up? Um. You're on your own for dinner tonight. Your mother and I are going out for a nice dinner. But that's the third day in a row. Did you at least make me anything? You're a big girl, Kenzie. Make yourself something. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And get a good night's sleep because we're meeting your other side of the family tomorrow for the very first time. All right. A few moments later. Your mother and I. Your mother and I. Ugh. There is literally nothing to eat. Ugh, I swear they're trying to get rid of me. How on earth am I supposed to eat food if there's nothing to eat? Ugh, no answer. I'm gonna keep calling until she answers. One eternity later. Ugh, I give up. Clearly, she's ignoring me. One hour later. Everything is so different now. It's so annoying. What do you mean? Ever since I got a stepdad, I feel like second place. They literally never include me. I'm basically third wheeling in my own house. Just do something to get back at them. Or make them feel the same way. How, though? Do something that would annoy them. Five minutes later. Hey, girly. Hey? What's wrong? You look confused. What are you doing here? You just hung up abruptly. I'm taking your advice. Which is? I hid from my parents for the past 24 hours. Past tense, huh? Well, no, I'm just speaking the end result. Are you sure that that's a good idea? I mean, what's the worst that could possibly happen? My parents get super angry and annoyed. I thought that was the whole point. I guess. Meanwhile. I was that just the best dinner I've ever had? You say that every time. Hey, because it keeps getting better. Let's binge watch something. I definitely be in a food coma. Oh, I can agree with that, sweetie. 1,000 missed calls? Honey, I'm trying to watch TV. No screaming, remember? Seriously? Mackenzie, why did you call a thousand times? Is everything okay? Honey! You're right. I'm sorry. I'll just go check on her. Don't worry about pausing it. But then you're gonna miss something, and I'm gonna have to explain it to you. Just don't take too long. I've been waiting forever to see this episode. All right. Mackenzie, can I come in? Okay, don't get mad at me. I'm coming in, and I warned you, and not. What the heck? Mackenzie, this isn't funny. Please, answer me. Mackenzie, where are you? Can you stop yelling? Mackenzie is missing. No, she's not. She's probably around somewhere. Can we just watch this episode already? Ugh, you're useless. Hey, remember what we said about name calling? Moments later. Sky, yes, Mrs. Mackenzie's mom, ma'am. How can I help you? Don't say a word, girly. Do you happen to know where Mackenzie is? Tell her you don't know. Uh, I don't know. I haven't talked to her all day. Is everything okay? Are you sure, Sky? Yes, I promise. I would never lie to you. Okay, because if you're telling the truth, then I'm gonna phone the police to help us find Mackenzie, because then she would be missing. And if the police found out that you lied to me, then you would be in a lot, a lot of trouble. I can't get in trouble, girly. You won't. What was that? Yes, Mackenzie's here. I am so sorry I lied to you. She made me. She's trying to hide from you for 24 hours to annoy you. Oh, thank you so much, Sky. Don't worry, I'm not mad. Just keep her there until I arrive. <gasps> How could you? I'm sorry, girly. I had no choice. You always have a choice. Ugh. A few moments later. Where did she go, that little brat? I don't know. She just ran out of here without telling me. Are you sure? You're not lying to me, are you? Yeah, you better not be lying, Sky. I'm not. I swear to you. I would never. Please, you have to believe me. Is there any secret places that she would hide? Uh, I'm not sure. Meanwhile. I can't believe Sky cracked under the pressure like that. I was supposed to be her best friend. Not cool. Can I get a hundred donuts, please? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, hey, Mackenzie. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. Just hungry. You want a donut? Sure. Three hours later. Are we going to start binge watching now? Are you serious right now? Mackenzie is trying to hide from us for 24 hours, and that's all you can think of? So what if she's trying to hide? Let her. Why waste your time? Because if she hides for 24 hours, that means she'll miss the family dinner tomorrow. Who cares? I do. Just chill. That's all you need to do right now. Stop that right now. Okay, then if you're so worried, let's go to the police station and inform them. How does that sound? Perfect, but you're coming with me. Fine. Five minutes later. George, you need to help us. Doing what? Does it matter? You're a police officer. Your job is to help people. Doesn't mean I'm just going to blindly help everyone. Well, Mackenzie's missing and we need your help finding her. <gasps> Why didn't you just say that to begin with? Because uh, I don't know. Wait a minute. Mackenzie isn't missing. I just saw her at Starbucks earlier. Well, that was earlier. Was she missing earlier? Yes. Sounds like she's just avoiding you. Ah! 
You need to leave right now before I arrest you. Whatever. Meanwhile. I wonder how she's handling me from hiding from her. Probably not very good. Well, I can just see and check it out for myself. Moments later. Please, you have to help me, Sky. Please, the police won't even help me. Her stepdad is outside looking for her as we speak, but he's not that much help. You know her better. I don't know where she would go, but I do know a secret hiding place in Brookhaven that has cameras. But how would the cameras help us? Because these cameras show everything that's going on. What? You and Mackenzie know about this place? Do the police even know about it? No, and you can't tell George. It has to stay a secret. I don't really like George at the moment, so I am definitely not telling him. And you can't tell anyone else, even my mom, or else I won't show you. All right, deal. Meanwhile. What an absolute traitor. She's leading my mom to the secret place that we only know about. What is wrong with her? She knows my mom has the biggest mouth. Oh, the whole world is gonna know about this place now. I need to get out of here. Moments later. What the heck? This is so confusing. Cool, isn't it? How did you even this place by complete accident that's how where are the cameras oh right over here this is super scary you're telling me that's why we haven't told anyone about this place and that's why you shouldn't either how long will this take meh only a few minutes a few moments later so did you find her yet not yet but you said it would only take a few minutes you must be really good at hiding wait a second i haven't even seen my husband on the camera yet and he promised he would be out looking for her can you check out our home and see if he's on the couch watching tv oh so help me god yeah he's on the couch eating chocolate and binge watching something oh he is gonna wish he never did that moments later oh what is this place don't worry about it ouchie my bum really hurts when i sit down oh i can't even binge now make you think twice about lying to me but i just want to be home watching the football game meanwhile it's so cool to be in here why do me and sky never come here anymore i mean we definitely have to start doing that more Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely hungry. But Sky showed my mom where the cameras are. They'll find me almost right away. Ooh, yeah, it's worth the risk. I'll be super quick so they won't even see me. Moments later. Oh, hey, George. I knew it. You weren't missing. Huh? What do you mean? Your mom came in and told me you were missing, and I just said she was avoiding you. Yep, I'm hiding from her for 24 hours because she's always making me third wheel. That totally makes sense. I would too. Right? Silly, silly lady. Yep, sounds like my mom. Meanwhile... Mackenzie, we know you're in there. Come out right now. Yeah, what well, your mom said. I'm gonna go home and watch football. Mackenzie? You guys need to settle down. Mackenzie was just here, but she just left, so she's not lost, and she even said it herself. So. Well, duh, we know that now. She's just hiding from me, and it's annoying, and she's doing it to annoy me. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop yelling. Yeah, or what? What are you gonna do? She is gonna do nothing, but I am gonna arrest you. And me? Yup, and you. How am I gonna watch TV, though? Ah, shut up. No one cares about your TV. Five minutes later. You just had to get angry, didn't you? You watch your tongue with me, mister, and I mean it. Settle down, you two. I mean it. Don't you tell me what to do. My daughter is out there by herself, and you're doing nothing about it. That's because she's not missing, and she's completely fine. She's just ignoring and avoiding you. I would, too, if I was her. She hates that she has to third wheel in her own house. Said she never gets time with her mom anymore. The next day... Never find me now, especially since they're in jail. I don't have to deal with meeting Greg's family. Ew. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck? Where am I? I'm trapped. I'm trapped. And I can't get out. Please, somebody help me. Oh, my phone. I'll just phone Sky to come get me. Hello? Kenzie, you there? Why would she just hang up on me like that? Weird. I guess I'll just call her back. A few moments later. Are we almost there? We're already here. We're just waiting for them to answer the door. What is taking our son so long to answer the door? We've been here for like 10 minutes already. I'm getting old. I need to sit down on a nice comfy couch. Oh, Dad, you used to do that when you were younger. It has nothing to do with you being old. Later that night. I have no clue what to do at this point. I'm probably just gonna die in here. Meanwhile. It has been like way over 24 hours and she's still nowhere to be seen and her phone is still dead and she tried to call me but then like it died and then she never recharged it and that was like an hour ago she must be in trouble moments later but Katie's definitely in trouble and she needs us she tried calling me a few hours ago but then her phone died and it's been like 24 hours already and she never charged her phone because it's still dead 
He must be in some kind of trouble. Ha! I told you so. Don't you worry, Mr. Beth Jezos put tracking devices in everyone's phones so I can just check where Mackenzie is right now. And it says right here that she's at the cemetery. Oh, that's super weird. Well, what are we waiting for? Not so fast. One of you has to stay here in the jail cell. Greg is. Now let's go. A few moments later. I'm so sorry, Mommy. I'll never hide from you ever again. I am so sorry. I'll never make you third wheel again and i'll take you with us for dinner every single time that we go out from now on meanwhile i have a lot of catching up to do with my good friend mr television that is when they let me out of here and i can go home but until then i miss you buddy